Thank you, everybody, for joining us today in our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. The last few weeks, we've been going over the financial documents in your Job Nimbus account. And today, we are focusing on budgets. My name is Daniel. I'm Logan. So happy to have you on board with us. So for just about any job you're going to do, you're going to have costs. You're going to have expenses. I tried looking for any companies we have that don't have costs and expenses, but everybody does. You know, you've got your material costs, your labor costs, your extra dimensional incursion insurance, all the important things that you have to make sure are taken care of and that count against the profit your company actually makes. Now, if you're not keeping track of this any which way, it's hard to know what went into your overhead and what money you actually walked away from the job with. So Job Nimbus has a fairly simple intuitive tool that you can use to keep track of your money and make sure that you're being profitable. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Exactly. And before you start using budgets, you'll actually first need to enable the feature. You do that in your settings. So when you're in your settings, you select features from the left side navigation bar, and they, you can enable it right there in your features tab and settings. So over the last few weeks, we've been actually building out Mickey Mouse's account or Mickey Mouse's file in our account. We've been adding an estimate, uh, material order, and an invoice that we're going to send out to Mickey for this very small job. It's for his summer hut, so the roof's not that big, so it's it's a very small job. And right now, we actually need to figure out the profit we're going to be making on this. So we're going to be using budgets. With budgets enabled, we can come to the financials tab, and we can add a budget by clicking this button right here, add budget. But I've already created an estimate. I don't want to have to add every single line item for all the material and the labor that I already added to the estimate. Well, Job Nimbus actually makes this easy for you. We don't have to do that. We don't have to spend the time adding all those line items in. All we, have, all we need to do is click on these three dots here, go down to Convert To, and select Budget. There we have it. Webinar done. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we have all of our line items right here. We can see the amounts that we're selling this at, the quantities. Uh, we can check our gross profit, our net profit here. Um, we can even add a, we can remove line items by clicking on this X right here. We can even add a line item and a, we can choose an amount, a quantity for that line, line item or a percentage of the total. So we're actually going to add a line item here for credit card fee, um, the credit card processing fee. Now, credit card processing fees aren't usually a specific amount, they're a percentage. So we're gonna add in 3.5% of the total and save that. Right there, you see that it already calculated out. Well, this is how much everything cost and uh, the price of everything. We're going to add in that fee of 11.83% for our credit card processing fee. We can also add in commissions. These are the commissions we pay to our sales reps and our team members. As you see, we already have a specific commission that's been added to our budget, but let's add in another one. So let's go to add commission. We need to first type in the description. So we're, this one is a sales commission. We're going to pay out to our sales rep. We can add in a specific amount like, hey, here's five bucks for it, thanks. Or we can add in a percentage. We're going to give the sales rep of this job, a 7% commission of our total gross profit. And let's save this. And there we have it. Charles Schnell's getting 7% of the total gross profit and the profit we're making off of and this job. And there's our budget in its entirety. We, I don't think we need to add anything more to it. So let's actually take a closer look at our budgets after we save it because we can get a better view of it once we save the budget. All right, as soon as this finishes loading up, we're gonna see the whole budget. So up at the top, it gives us our budget information, what our price is, what the gross is, what the net is after commissions, and so on and so forth. We get to see each of our line items, the description, the amounts, the uh, total for those amounts, and on the Right hand side, what our total is from the price going down after each expense until we get our gross at the bottom. Under that is our commissions, which we can mark paid here. I'll go ahead and mark Aaron's commission paid. 
It will tell us, hey, this is the day that it was paid, good deal. And below that, our net. The last thing we'll see on this page is our activity. If we set this to all, it's gonna tell us all the changes that have been made on this budget. The other thing we can do is add a note. This could be something like, hey, back end office friend, uh, this might need to be added in. We went out to lunch, we wanna put it on the budget. Or it could be something like this where we can at mention one of our team members like Aaron, we can tell him he paid his commission. This is all working out very well. <laughs> I mean, seem to have a very tense relationship with Aaron there. <laughs> I, I would say it's passionate. All right, and you'll see that appear in the activity. And since Aaron was at mentioned, he will get a ping of this on his phone and an email sent to him as well, just so we can keep in contact. Now, maybe you don't use estimates in Job Nimbus, or you'd prefer not to use estimates for your budget. We have another way that you can do this that will populate your line items pretty simply. If we head into our settings, and because we've turned on budgets, we'll have this budgets tab over here. We can take a look at a general budget template that we'll use. So up at the top is the required margin. We say we want to get 15% on our job for gross, 10% on net. That's fairly reasonable. If we ever go below these, Job Nimbus will tell us a warning, and maybe we have to discharge the Oompa Loompas less for what they did on that job. Under that is our line items. This one's built out very simply. It just has total material costs, total labor amount. You could also break these down into your individual uh, materials that you use and enter in your quantities. And this will all pull in from your products and services. Under that, we can throw in some percentages. We're just taking a straight 10% overhead and a credit card of 3.5%. And below that, you'll see the commission that showed up even when we were using the estimate. Commissions show up every time. Well, the template items only show up if you're not using an estimate. So we're gonna go ahead and add a line item here. And like I said, this will populate from our products and services. But in this case, we're gonna use what we talked about at the beginning. Uh, we need to make sure our extra dimensional insurance is paid up. And for us, that's $500. We have a good broker. So now if we head back to Mickey, we can look at what this is going to mean. So we're going to go to our financial. We're going to add a new budget. And this time, we're not going to use an existing estimate. We'll enter it manually. Uh, this is Mickey's mansion. So this is a two million dollar job nice okay we're making some money this time for sure our material costs here is going to be five hundred thousand our labor cost will be 25 oh, there we go and we can see our gross profit 48.9 percent and our commission draw is much healthier this time so that's the basics of how budgets work in Job Nimbus and how you can keep track of your costing. Thanks so much for coming to learn more about budgets. Next month, we're gonna be starting on some new exciting topics, including how we're going to solve bottlenecks you find in your business. But if you'd like to see our previous webinars, go ahead and hop over to our YouTube channel and check it out there. If you'd rather read instead of watch, go to our knowledge base at support.jobnimbus.com. We've got articles on everything Job Nimbus under the sun. And lastly, if you'd like to talk to a real live, actual human being person, you can call at the number listed at the bottom of the screen or shoot us an email. We'll answer just about anything. Have a wonderful day.